With just one week left, before the public is to be invited to the 2010 San Francisco Decorator Showcase, the designers and carpenters are putting the finishing touches on their work. This is the 33rd Decorator Showcase. It features the work of some of the best designers on the West Coast. The proceeds for this event benefit the financial aid program of San Francisco University High School. Today is press day. The designers have finally completed their work and we're going to meet some of them. Hello, I'm Frank Eddy, I'm a garden designer, and my space at the Showcase House is the front garden and the entry porch. And my idea was sort of uh, contrasting a very formal and very classic garden with something that's very futuristic and sort of a repurposing or reusing of materials that are oftentimes discarded in a uh, in the renovation of homes and, and in the spaces. Um, so I collaborated with a couple of artists and we came up with this and it's all found and furnishings and actually some of the interior furnishings that were, uh, were discarded from the, uh, the renovation. Hello, welcome to the San Francisco Decorator Showcase House. I'm Suzanne Tucker, and this is the dining room. We created this room to be a multi-purposed room, to have wonderful space for dining, a wonderful space for entertaining, a sofa for reclining or reading, or coffee late in the afternoon or late evening. It's a room where you can collect, and it's a room where you can live. with Coup d'etat. This is the library which is named the Hall of Wisdom and Enlightenment. Uh, it's a take on a traditional panel library. Uh, it's, it's kind of meant to be kind of a turn-of-the-century English-inspired library um, full of volumes of books, lots of curiosities. Uh, you're meant to just kind of sit, come in, sit by the fire, relax, and uh, study. Good afternoon. This is David Kensington's living room. As part of the 2010 San Francisco Decorator Showcase, we're very pleased to be a part of a wonderful group of designers that have gathered here in support of University High School. Our room is an eclectic mix of old world classicism and a nod to the traditions of this 1929 Albert Farr designed home. In particular, the vistas looking forward to the North Bay are captured by sweeping views, by separate seating areas that invite conversation, and a very 
inviting feel, classic to a San Francisco drawing room here in the Presidio Heights. Sean Hartley Design. Uh, we do custom interiors, kitchens, and baths. Uh, this year's San Francisco Showcase Kitchen is a family-friendly place, layering of lots of experiences, much as in a recipe, where we bring family and friends together around food uh, to have a life experience. Uh, we've mixed a lot of materials, uh, combinations of those surfaces and layers, to create uh, a family-friendly and space that can really uh, stand up to uh, family activities. We have a uh, custom steel suspended lighting soffit by Wyatt Ellison, who's a local artisan. Caesar stone counters. We've used out of the wood cabinetry based in San Rafael for this fabulous custom oak cabinetry. Uh, we have some custom backsplash tiles by David Goldberg, which are actually concrete. And uh, we've used the local plaster artists that have done our walls as well as um, a custom hood motif that shows a fern, which mimics the David Goldberg tiles on the wall, which are actually fascinating that they're um, individual tiles that also um, are made of concrete and gypsum together. I have an office in both Napa and San Francisco. And I chose this room due to its kind of unusual small shape and the little corner sink in here. It reminded me of many hotel rooms I've stayed in in Europe. The little French doors with a view of the building next door is also typical of that. So in this little tiny room, there's a day bed, which would also convert to a sofa. There's uh, next to the sink is a vitrine with all the basic necessities, your toiletries, little mini bar, some champagne, and then the antique Louis XVI secretary doubles as um, storage for your clothing and also taking notes or writing little postcards after the day of sightseeing. Thank you. 
Welcome, my name is Benjamin Dong, and this is Welcome to My Room, The Airy, here at the 2010 San Francisco Decorator Showcase House. When I first saw this room, it was a small room room, and it had these lovely eaves, and it overlooked the Golden Gate Bridge, and I was immediately drawn to it. It reminded me of all those wonderful, romantic garret rooms in Paris, or those big, rambling attics that we would explore as children. There was something comforting and charming and intimate about this room. So I decided to do a, an away room, a room for contemplation, rest, and um, just sometimes just gazing out at the beautiful San Francisco Bay. What we've done in this room is created a very dreamy, hazy scape. The, the walls are decorated in this mural that's extremely subtle, but it's designed to sort of remind you of a dream. And this room is meant to be a dream. So all the furnishings are classical, old, a little mixture of new. They're all meant to be sort of balanced and in harmony and create this sort of nostalgic, calm, serene space for contemplation. I'm Brian Dittmar and with Brian Dittmar Design and wow. this is room number 30 at the Decorator Showcase House which is called um, Poetry in Time, the Orologist Laboratory. And orology is the study of um, time and the person who I imagined this room for is someone that's interested in watches, clocks, um, any, any instrument uh, to tell time. So around it you'll see many, many clocks. Um, there's a custom clock that I actually had made along with some clocks from the 1950s, a clock from the 1860s, um, four pocket watches, a clock that's actually a globe um, that turns around once a day and that's from Argentina from the 1880s. So it's an um, interesting collection that, uh, that I've created to, to show how this person would be collecting clocks over the years. Um, on the desk you can also see many books about clocks, including the new Cartier book um, that, that showcases some of their amazing uh, jeweled clocks. There's also a chair here that I designed that is reminiscent of the top of a grandfather clock with a broken pediment. My name is Thad Warren. I'm the owner of Lush Art Decorative Painting and Murals. Uh, I'm a mural artist, and therefore the focus of my room is the walls. And uh, this theme was inspired by moth and insect wing patterns and silk moth cocoons. So the mural is a graphic abstract representation of the threads of silk moth cocoons, very uh, abstracted. And um, my light fixture is uh, made of actual silk moth cocoons and moths hovering around it that are pinned to that. Uh, I did a floor motif, again a very abstract rendition stained into the hardwood floor um, representing the circular uh, sort of shapes of cocoons. Um, I also, uh, as part of my own artwork, 
do um, uh, mixed media works with gelatin capsules where I put found objects, in this instance, um, a lot of insects and moths along with various other things I pick up uh, here and there. Welcome to the Kids Playroom. My name is Kevin Hackett. And I'm Jessica Wigley. And uh, we've been developing uh, this concept for both the Kids Playroom and the Kids Outdoor Space as well. And part of the idea was to create an environment that would be embodying the nourishment of the child as a whole. And uh, the room itself um, has been manipulated. This is all new architecture. Uh, we design new uh, soft geom geom geometrical walls that uh, reflect the existing architectural language and also built out the same floor and with a stage and chalkboard. So uh, part of the central theme of the space um, is, uh, is based on a lot of Steiner school thinking uh, uh, concerning creativity and analytical thinking and development. Just, would you like to jump in? We designed the space for a five-year-old, and it's meant to um, also develop their skills. So we have the music corner, we have the stage for performing. We're trying to balance the creative as well as the analytical, and allow them to connect to nature, which is why we have the exterior garden as well. Part of the idea was to create a secretive environment for exploration for the child, and we thought nothing like best than have a bookcase that opens up. We also chopped the height so it is very kid uh, friendly in that respect. And this is what we're calling the cocoon. It's a space um, completely wrapped in a strong felt rug with pillows. It's a comfortable environment. There's natural lighting in there for reading, for playing, for relaxing. And it's, uh, it's our hidden gem. Hi, I'm Will Wick. Uh, this is the guest quarters of Mangiabella. This room was loosely based on a movie from, um, it's called The Talented Mr. Ripley. Basically what I've done is created a guest quarters, um, southern Italy, southern France, possibly Greece, and it really just evokes, the room evokes a very clear, light, airy feeling. Um, I've used bleached wood floors, a lot of white linens, um, 
conventional plaster walls, this beautiful photograph from uh, Richard Mizrak on uh, loan from the Frankel Gallery. And I think basically the, the general feeling when you walk in here is that, you'll, that you're in somewhere in Europe or somewhere on the beach. So. Good morning, my name is John Staub and I'm with Phil Potts and Associates and you're in our room in the San Francisco Decorator Show House. The title of the room is Adam Metal Lux and we were striving to bring in natural elements with refined uh, materials. Uh, and as you can see there's a combination of natural wood and uh, ceramics and tonality with some color punches uh, with a little bit of an Asian gumps and pumps. My firm is Fiola Design. This is my kitchenette, and um, we our, our intention for this was to create a space that um, just had every luxury amenity you can imagine. So um, right here we have a half refrigerator drawer. Below is a half freezer drawer. <clears throat> to my right is a. Um, dishwasher drawer, microwave, and behind you, right over here, is Miele coffee espresso cappuccino maker and a wine cooler. So really the space is about midnight snack, little ice cream, glass of wine, and 
It's just steps away from the master bedroom. Call me from New York for a writer, and she thought that it would be good for maybe like uh, Susan Victoria? UK, no. Yeah. Allison, I can't remember your last name. Yeah. 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 Yeah.